All right. How to meet new people without drinking. Okay. How to meet someone this weekend if you don't drink. All right. This is the first one. We're going to go to this one. Why is my laptop vibrating? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's funny. There's this picture of the guy waving to some chick in a sun, like a fucking sun chair. Oh, hi, hi. That's always a great way to, to pick up a chick. Just fucking, just sort of wave at her. You know, I never tried that. I bet that works. <laughs> just something about waving. You got to wave back. How many times in your life has someone been waving at someone behind you? And you look at them like, I don't know that person. You just still wave. I think that, oh my God. Fuck coming up with a, uh, an, uh, an opening line. Just You just get a wave. Anyways, uh, whether dating apps are causing out, oh, shut the fuck up and just get to it. As someone who lived and dated in New York City for years, I'd be lying if I said alcohol didn't play a huge part. Oh, Jesus Christ. You'd also be lying if you said you got to the fucking point. Because alcohol is such a huge part of the... the no matter why you would choose to abstain... This is literally nine paragraphs in. Don't feel like you have to avoid bars. If you made the decision not to drink, you shouldn't sweat it if someone plans a hangout at a bar because you're not giving me things to do. All right, seek out new experiences. Get out of your comfort zone. You know something? Fuck this person. This is just all generic horse shit. All right, I, I would say, you know, there's, uh, there's sports leagues, co-ed sports leagues. Uh, there's the uh, book club. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. What, you know what? I honestly don't know. I was such a fucking drunk. I don't, I don't know what people do. But I, that's what I would do. All right? I would try. Sorry. Making all kinds of fucking noise, moving the recorder around. I have to get off this fucking floor. I have to get off this floor, sir, and you should go out and try and meet somebody. All right? Just because everybody else is fucking up. That's like, like having a kid. Like all, like all these fucking parents sit there and they tell you like, oh, how old your kid? Uh, be like, you know, she's two and a half. Oh, the terrible twos, the terrible twos. You're just like, no, she's actually been pretty great. Oh, wait till she's three. Three nager. Three nager. You know, just no matter what, they just project gloom and doom. Um, I don't know. There's, there's, there's music. There's, there's art festivals. There's the farmer's market. You know? That's a great place to hit on. Women love to be hit on. At farmer's market, all right? Don't don't listen to these fucking, you know, chicks that you would never hit on anyways, okay? If you fucking like somebody, you, you, at some point, you got to hit on them. Can't she buy vegetables without being asked questions? Uh, if I don't ask questions, I'm going to be single for the rest of my fucking... What am I supposed to do? Hey, I don't want to hit on you while you're picking out your green beans there. Where are you going to be later so I can fucking show up and freak you out? Um... Man, white women are doing a lot of complaining. Isn't it incredible? It's fucking incredible. You, you'd never know they were white. Um, <laughs> it's so hard being a white woman. Um, I'm sober. How do I meet someone without hanging out at a bar? How do introverts meet people? Listen, there's plenty. I'm not doing I, I, I It takes me forever to read shit. I would just Google this. Find out five ways to make new friends when you're sober. Oh, wait a minute. But sober, but not in a program? Are you in a program? Well, here's one for you. Don't fucking meet some chick at an AA meeting. Jesus Christ. Don't fucking do that. Don't do that. All right? She's over there chain smoking cigarettes and eating fucking donuts. You don't need that in your life. All right. That's what I would do. I would find, sir, I would I would Google what I just Googled and sift through it. And, uh, you know, and I, also, I would also tell you, Dad, this is why I'm not in it. You know? No offense, Dad, but you look pretty miserable when I was growing up. Um, all right. Advice. Hosting first Thanksgiving. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the stress. The stress of hosting your own Thanksgiving. What do I wear? Where do I seat people? Is the souffle going to collapse? All right. Hosting first Thanksgiving. Uh, dear, dear Billy Space Blaster Tits. Oh, that's a reference to The Mandalorian. Episode 3 came out. I am up on Star Wars, people. I'm watching it. John Favreau, everybody. Crushing it. Crushing it. From someone who doesn't watch Star Wars, I'm loving The Mandalorian. And not because I'm just looking for my big, bald head, which I heard is coming up in Episode 6. All right? So you fucking bastards. 
I give you this free goddamn podcast. Why don't you why don't you spend a f- couple of shekels there? Huh? Why don't you spend a couple of yen wherever you are in the fucking world? All right? God knows England has their own currency. All right? Isn't that what uh, the Blitzkrieg's about? Brexit. Um, pounds. French with the Franks. They're on the euro, right? Just fucking get Disney Plus. I'm telling you. They got, you know, they got, they got the Jeff Goldblum show. They got the Mandalorian. They got all, all those, all those other, you know, I'm not a big movie guy. They got a bunch of movies. All right. Thanksgiving. Dear Billy Space Blaster Tits, I'm hosting the first Thanksgiving this year, which will include my parents, my in-laws and in-laws of in-laws. Wow. These people have terrible manners, especially while eating. These include the following. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Let's read this again. Which will have my parents, my in-laws. Well, you shit on your own parents. So, I, you know, they have terrible manners. Well, where, where are you? Jesus Christ. My father-in-law constantly talks with his mouth full of food. Ooh, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. Uh, he then gets a gravy-like substance crackling in his throat. Oh, my God. But will never clear his throat. I fucking hate people who won't clear their throats. He also sticks his hand in his drinks, drink, pulls out ice cube, cubes loudly sucks on them, then spits them back into his drink or loudly crunches them. Jesus Christ. It's like a Martin Short character. (laughs) My mother-in-law, my mother-in-law's, my mother-in-law thinks she's in charge and keeps yelling at my son. And telling him what to do. Like eat his dinner. I can't have that. Right in front of my wife and me. Well, that's on your wife to say something. Don't bring that up. It's too close to Thanksgiving. It's too late. You got to talk about this after the holidays. You got to sit through one more fucking holiday. Sit down. And you got to start with, listen, you know I love you. You know I love your mom. Okay? But I feel like we're we're our kids' parents. So we should be, you know, she doesn't need to step in. She already has a mom. She has you, you know, or whatever. He already has a mom, whatever. Anyways, she also, um, anyways, we aren't the type to let our kid do anything he wants, if you're wondering. She also sucks and crunches her ice. My sister-in-law's cunt mother, that almost sounds like a rank. My sister-in-law's cunt mother on deck, uh, who has nowhere else to go because no one likes her. Oh, God, ruins each holiday meal by... Being loud, abrasive, and obnoxious. She's always snapping gum because she just had a cigarette and is always talking about negative topics that no one is interested in, which just brings the entire vibe way down. Man, all right. Since this is my house, shouldn't I have the right to address these issues if they come up? Buddy, I got to tell you something. That ship sailed the second you fucking agreed to have Thanksgiving at your place. Without, without fucking saying who can come. It's too late for this. It's too late. All right? We have ignition. The rocket has already taken off. You can't turn the fucking thing around. Don't worry. There's a light at the end of this tunnel. I'm going to finish reading this. If so, how should I go about addressing these people in their terrible manners without my wife getting angry with me? It's impossible. And me coming off like an asshole to everyone. It's impossible. Congrats on your sobriety. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Nia, and your daughter, and thanks for all the free entertainment over the years. All right, cool. You guys don't have to congrat me on my fucking sobriety. It's not, I'm not in the fucking program. I'm just a fucking binge drinker that's taking a little sabbatical here. You know, Jordan went and played baseball for a year and a half, right? Year or so, right? I'm, I'm taking off. Same thing. I'm in my Jordan year. Um, all right, here's what you do, okay? You don't do a fucking thing, but just be the greatest goddamn Thanksgiving host of all time. Okay. You put on the most festive fucking sweater you can find. You kick, you fucking cook your goddamn ass off. All right. And then you just let these fucking animals act like the animals that they are. I'd even get them a little liquored up. If you can just pro, you know, prime the pump a little bit. Let them act like absolute fucking lunatics. Okay? 
This is your only chance. And even then, this is an uphill battle. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to sell your wife on the fact that you think her family is a bunch of fucking animals. Okay? And I, I am not doubting for one second that they are. The detail that you went into. Okay? You have to understand this, okay? As a, as a, as a man who's now a husband and a father, Thanksgiving is no longer yours. Okay? It's no longer yours. It's somebody else's. Okay. Your Thanksgiving, you know when your Thanksgiving is? Is the second the last one of those fucking ice crunching cunts walks out that door. That's when your Thanksgiving begins. So what you have to look at this as this is essentially a fucking it's just it's a day you're not gonna get back. But there is balance in the universe. Okay? And you go there, you be an absolute fucking sweetheart. Okay? And you just let them crunch their ice, not clear their throat, and do all of that shit. And uh, one of the things that, that you can do if you don't like these people is you could be the person clearing the table and going in to wash the dishes. This gets you in another fucking room, <clears throat> right? There's also nothing stopping you at, at the last second from inviting a friend of yours who maybe has nowhere to go. And then you guys can kind of fucking buddy up, all right? Okay, but here's the thing. You cannot on any fucking level address these people at the Thanksgiving. You, you, you can't. You can't. There's no way you're not going to look like an asshole. And if your wife is a woman, she will hold this over your head for the rest of your life. Now, if you're in an alternative relationship and you're gay and you adopted, maybe the dude will be cool enough to let it go at some point. Um, yeah, I think you just, you just got to fucking, you're just going to have to tolerate it. And, uh, then next year you got to lay the groundwork of being like, you know what, can we just maybe let's just do one year where it's just us, you know, there's just a lot of fucking, but I think the only thing you can kind of address here is, is the mother-in-law's behavior after, uh, after she leaves. That's what I would do. But other than that, I got to tell you something, buddy. You're fucked. Your Thursday is fucked. Um, and you're going to get through it. I believe in you. And you know what? You know what's going to be the greatest day of your fucking week? Friday. This is oh, this is what you do. Tell your wife. Okay. Why don't you plan something fun for you on Friday? Okay. And when she goes, why well, wanted you to blah, blah. You just take her by, put your hands on her shoulder kiss her on the forehead, look her right in the eye and be like, I need this. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, just plan something fun. Plan something fun, you and the fellas, and then just just be just remembering all the dumb shit your relatives are doing. And then the next night, go out and get shit-faced with some of your buddies and retell all the stories, and they're going to laugh their fucking asses off, and it's going to be cathartic for you. All right? There you go. That's my recipe. For getting through your Thanksgiving. All right? That's it. That's the podcast. Go fuck yourselves. And I will check in on you on Thursday.